Hello guys, I welcome you to my channel Laser Graphics and Multimedia. My name is Rafi Yakub, and in this video I'm going to teach you a simple trick whereby you can use to round corner your triangle or your polygon in Corel Draw. So let's get started. If you are very new to this channel, please remember to subscribe to this channel and turn on the notification bell icon so that whenever I upload video about Corel Draw, Photoshop and Illustrator, you'll be able to watch and learn one or two things. So let's get to the practical started so the first thing i'm going to do here I'm... hello guys i welcome you to my channel laser graphics and multimedia my name is rafi yakub and in this video i'm going to teach you a simple trick whereby you can use to round corner your triangle or your polygon in corel draw so let's get started if you are very new to this channel please remember to subscribe to this channel and turn on the notification bell icon so that whenever i upload video about Corel Draw, Photoshop and Illustrator, you'll be able to watch and learn one or two things. So let's get to the practical started. So the first thing I'm going to do here, I'm going to show you a practical from Triangle. So I have to come to my tools bar here and uh, I'm going to click and hold down here and select my polygon. Now, if you select polygon, you have to come to the home tab here. You have to know that here should be three. Now, you press that control key on your keyboard to draw your rectangle. And now, this one here can be, uh, okay. So what we are going to do next is that we are going to convert this, uh, this angle here, this angle here, we're going to round it curve. And then here, we're going to make it curve. And this one here, we're going to make it curve. How do we do that? So let's go to our move uh, pick tools now. Now, when you select our pick tools, you notice that uh, we don't have a uh, we don't have any 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 way by which we can make a curve on this uh, this particular shape. But we can still do it to make it round. Uh, Alright, so all you have to do next is to go to your tools bar here and uh, make sure you select your shape tools. Now, when you select your shape tools, you will notice that we have some points around the around the triangle. So the next thing you have to do, you come to the top of the triangle, then you right click on it and uh, make sure you choose hard. Right? When you click on hard, then go back there, right click again and make sure you convert the curve. Now, having converted to curve and perform these two functions, the next thing you have to do is to double click. And uh, when you double click, it's going to automatically turn all the three angles into curve, right? So we can as well color it with uh, whatever color of our choice. We can right click on here to remove the stroke. So here's the first example. And the next example is going to be on uh, polygon. So let's go back to our tools bar here. I'm going to select a polygon star now. So when you select the polygons, I'm going to come to the home tab here. I'm going to change this to six angle. Now, we change it to the six angle. The next thing I'm going to do is to press down control key and uh, draw a, a very big uh, shape. So it depends on the kind of uh, the size you are looking for, right? So now I'm going to round corner this shape also, just like the way I did the uh triangle so what we are going to do is to go back to our tools bar here and uh, make sure you select your shape tools when you select your shape tools then come to the top of the polygon right click on it and then make sure you choose hard so then you go back again right click again and then make sure you convert the curve having done that come to the top again double click so you're going to have it corner and automatically from all the angles so you can as well change this color to whatsoever color of your choice so so something like this and this is how you can corner around your shape in uh, so let me say for instance uh, let me place them one after the other so okay so we have a rectangle and uh, we have uh, that shape down below here 